Hey there, and welcome to an episode of A Hormonal Woman's Guide to Hallmark, the internet's only pregnancy-induced Hallmark movie critiquing show. Now I know what you must be thinking, Allie, I didn't come here to watch you be hormonal, I came here to watch you be stoned. Well fuck that, uh, I went and got pregnant, and I'm due in August, so I can't smoke any weed just yet. So sometime in August, we'll be back to our regularly scheduled stoned activities. But until then, we just have to deal with me being pregnant. I'm almost 23 weeks along, which is great, I guess. I don't know. Being stuck in quarantine and being pregnant just seems like super fun. So today we're going to be watching a movie on Netflix USA called Love Jacked. And it stars Amber Stevens West who I believe played Ashley on Greek, which was an amazing TV show. If you haven't seen it, you should. Uh, the description. When her engagement falls through, a headstrong woman tries to dodge humiliation at home by returning from Africa with a man posing as her fiance. So it was like she in Africa with her fiance and the engagement fell through? Like, wouldn't they know who her fiance is? I don't know. We're going to find out. So it starts off with these people running away from a biker bar and their license plate says Quebec, but then it shows that they escaped the USA. So now we're in Southern California, which I would have guessed anyway because it looks like San Diego or literally any coastal city in California. So they sit, so Maya, the main girl, and I don't know this dude's name yet, sit down at a diner pretty far away from each other, and then all of a sudden they start talking to each other. And now she's in fucking Africa. I don't know what's going on here. I don't know why she wanted to go to Africa, but she's in fucking Africa. To be more specific, she's in Cape Town. This girl's flipped out on every guy she's met. Like, a guy's looking at the mural behind her, and she's like, stop fucking staring at me. He's like, I'm not. I'm looking at the mural behind you, bitch. So this dude and her with the mural are now suddenly dating. So her fiance that she met three weeks ago was cheating on her. The dude's excuse was she doesn't speak English. How does she understand the word no? So you have sex with her? That was, that was your excuse? That's why? Oh, the dude's name is Malcolm. So Malcolm screwed his partner out of three grand to help this pregnant woman. And now his partner is coming to murder him. So Malcolm is now her fake fiance. Why would he paint her? Now they're having a paint fight. My kiss, 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 kiss. So Maya's cousin is now all up on Malcolm here. So Maya's solution, Maya, I don't remember her name anymore, right? Pregnancy brain. Her solution to the problem is to get married and then have her fake fiance fake die so that her father's never right. All right, so I know in the state of California, you have to show some ID to get a marriage license to get married in the state of California. How did this guy be able to become Matubi and get a marriage license for that name? That doesn't make any sense. I don't know. I don't know why rose petals on the bed are romantic. Like, ugh, now I gotta clean all that shit up or move out of the way if I wanna use the bed. So like, what's the point of rose petals? I do not find them to be romantic. So now we fast forward to Matubi's funeral. Oh shit, the real Matubi showed up. Oh no. Oh fuck, what is she gonna do? We just got good. So this dude just shows up on her doorstep like a month after he dumped her or he cheated on her. Oh my God, now he's proposing? That's a big ass ring. This real Matubi is like spinning some really bad tale about how he almost died and that's why he's here to see Maya and propose to her. No one's believing it. Now Malcolm came back pretending to be Matubi, and Matubi, the real Matubi, is still there at the house, down on one knee. So then she reveals the entire thing about how it's all um, a scam, and then she's like, well, I love Malcolm, and Malcolm's like, I love Maya. And then Naomi goes and introduces herself to Matubi. So then Maya and Malcolm end up actually getting married, and then they actually go to Africa on their honeymoon with her entire family. Okay, so... I feel like 
like premise of this movie was good, but the execution was really bad. I feel like it could have done been done a lot better, but I don't know. I do like Amber Stevens West. I think she's a great actress. Um, I think the acting was really good and the dialogue and the screenwriting was still really good. It was just the plot had problems, you know? So I give it like a three. That was that. That was Love Jacked, which I don't understand the title of the movie to begin with. Uh, hit the subscribe button if you feel so inclined and drop some comments if you want me to watch a movie that you like. I'd be more than happy to. I'll see you next week on a hormonal woman's guide to Hallmark.